Hey, what's up, peeps? This your boy, Noam, coming at y'all with another video. Uh, this is a channel update. First off, I would like to say uh, congrats to Everything King and also DM DGM for reaching 200 subs today. Plus, so, uh, congratulations to you and congratulations to Everything King on uh, the expecting of his family. But again, this is a channel update. Uh... With my channel, now that the wine season's over, it's just that I want to take some time to look at back on what higher team could have been different in the years to pass. So it's more of a combination of a what if theory and what they could have did. Now this what if theory, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I won't have any fancy thumbnail. Uh, excuse me, I'm a little bit under weather, but I won't have any fancy on. Uh, thumbnail. I won't showcase, you know, any Madden material, or cards, or players who made it big. You know, I won't be able to do that. But it's just gonna be, and I won't probably be able to remember every single name of every draft round. For example, if I talk about who they could have drafted, I won't be able to remember every person that was available for agency. But I promise you, I will do my best you know, to research every single season, year after year after year, uh, from when I choose to start and. Maybe make a prediction video eventually soon who they should get or at least the positions. So uh, I'll try to remember at least the first three rounds because it's kind of it's kind of hard to remember a whole seven round draft pick and try to search for every player they could have got cause in every seven rounds. So I'll just try to go no more than three rounds of remembering names so they could you know, who we could have drafted, who the Lions could have drafted, uh, and then players who they could have probably targeted in trade or free agency and things of that nature. You know. Uh, and maybe, who knows, maybe even what coach they could probably could have got. Maybe I'll throw that in there. But, you know, uh, yeah, I won't have any fancy thumbnail on that. Or uh, man of material. Maybe sometime in the future if, the, if you guys decide to like uh, the setup that I'm going. And maybe, oh, and also, I'll be also eventually, once I get the hang of doing this, I'll be also, if you were a Pistons fan, I'll be trying to get the hang of doing that as well on uh, What If Theories. For the Pistons, uh, that would be a little bit different. It would be the same type of scenario, but I'll actually go a little bit more in-depth. Uh, things that actually happened from the championship era uh, for over in 04. So, I'll be, uh, a lot of people can pretty much guess if we would have got this player, this player in 04 draft, or this and that and other. Or, you know, our, our later on history could be as a team, how long we could have been winning everybody with the Pistons. So, I'll be trying to get coverage on that, guys. And uh, again, stay up tuned. Uh, my next video, uh, to start off with a, a quick little recap of the Lions, you know, 2009. I'll give you guys a 2009 what if draft. Uh, you know, we already pretty much know what we got out of 2009. And I think the Lions only may have had maybe three or four pits in that draft. And I think because in the first few years uh, at the source, when source came here, I think the Lions were going under a lot of, uh, trouble for, you know, stuff they shouldn't have been doing, like, you know, uh, like just something illegal they shouldn't have been doing, I think they lost draft picks, I forgot exactly what it was, I think tampering and things like that, I think they got into some organizational trouble and they lost draft picks, multiple picks each year for doing stuff like that, so that's not thing, I don't think we had a full draft, plus with Mayhew's, that inability to do solid drafts, at least every other year, uh, you know, it, it was tough to build that Lions team. But here, here we go. You know, uh, at quarterback, I know the two quarterbacks in 09, the main two I can think of were Matthew Stafford and Mark Sanchez. Uh, Mark Sanchez actually did do, I believe, pretty somewhat pretty well with the Jets. I think he even went to the playoffs or not won a playoff game, I believe. And then, like, I don't know what happened. He crashed and burned this whole butt fumble thing. It was never to get guess. So I'm going to say right there. If the Lions would not have drafted Matthew Stafford, guys, uh, we probably wouldn't get a solid quarterback till maybe the all 11 uh, draft because it was nobody in 10 who I could see in the first round that was really going to help us that hard. Maybe you could say Sam Bradford, but, I mean, that's your best bet, which in that case, you might as well have drafted Stafford here before. And then the only and then but if we didn't draft Sam Bradford we got another bust and let's say we went one in fifteen for like another year and then you know uh 
oh, 11, that should set us up to be possibly ourselves to stay at the first pick no matter what and take Cam Newton. So, you know, that, that could have – you got to wonder how that could have changed our team from a team to a quarterback that knows how to run and throw and this and that and the other. Uh, excuse me if I got any messages. I'm sorry. But, you know, uh, you got to wonder. But anyway, I'm, uh, okay, so Matthew Stafford was our guy, luckily. So, uh the second round, I think we didn't have a second round. Oh, we did. I believe we got a safety by the name of Louis Delmas. I'm not sure exactly who was there. But in that situation, I can understand going defense. But if you didn't want it like Louis Delmas, I felt like the position that you should have drafted in may have been, I don't know, maybe the running back position if there was one available. I know the only notable running back right now on the top of my head I can think of that came up in 2009 and did anything was Aaron Foster, but he was undrafted, so what was the chance of the Lions finding him? But if I would, if it was my choice, I'd say a running back or either an offensive lineman. Then, you no, know, the third round, I believe that's where we got DeAndre Levy, which I'm fine with, so I'll keep that there. I'm not sure what they did with the final pick, which I believe was either a fourth round or a sixth round pick, so I'm not even going to bother with that. So you won't have too much changes with that. You know, draft, but that's just an example of what I'm saying, guys. So, uh, I'm not even going to bother right now with the 2010. When I start this, I'll be more likely starting with the, a quick recap of 2010. Maybe I'll even do it with it, and then I'll jump mainly into the 011 stuff. So, again, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Share this video. Uh, shout out to everybody in DVE. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so and subscribe to everybody else in DVE. Thank you very much. For watching this video enjoy your day everybody peace